In 1956, Father Noiré and Jacques performed their daily chores in their church. While investigating a disturbance, Noiré is raised into the air, set on fire, and burned to death, before a terrified Jacques flees. Following the events at St. Cartha's Monastery, Sister Irene now serves in a convent in Italy. Maurice works at a boarding school in France, where he has befriended a young Irish student named Sophie, and her teacher and mother Kate. Irene has a vision of Maurice asking her to save him. She is dispatched by the Cardinal to investigate a series of deaths across Europe, attributed to the demon Valak, due to her previous experience with the demon. She travels to Tarascon with Sister Deborah, a young novice who expresses her difficulty in accepting miracles, such as the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Meanwhile, a delivery girl witnesses Valak talking to a possessed Maurice, before Valak kills her. In Tarascon, Irene is haunted by a Valak, and has a strange vision. Deborah tells Irene that she received Noiré's rosary from Jacques. At school, Sophie is bullied by classmates, and locked in the deconsecrated sealed-off chapel. The bully points out the goat on the stained glass window, claiming the devil appears when the sun shines through and turns the goat's eyes red. One night, the headmistress encounters a sleepwalking Maurice, and is killed by Valak in the guise of her deceased son. Irene and Deborah travel to the Palais des Papes, and meet with a librarian. He explains that Valak was an angel rejected by God, and the emblem on Wari's rosary is the family crest of Saint Lucy, who was martyred by a pagan. Though she was set on fire, she miraculously did not burn, her eyes were gouged out, but her family recovered them. The librarian suggests the demon is killing Saint Lucy's descendants because it wants this powerful relic, last known to be stored in a former monastery turned winery. The winery then became the present day boarding school. At the school, Irene and Deborah face off against a fully possessed Maurice. Sophie shows the women a stained glass goat in the chapel, and they use a flashlight to make its eyes glow red. The red light acts as a laser, pointing to where the eyes of Saint Lucy are buried. Irene finds the relic, and the stained glass goat vanishes, reappearing in real life as a demonic creature. As the goat attacks the students, Maurice attacks Irene, chases Sophie, and causes the bell tower to collapse. Irene uses the relic against Maurice, but he grabs it, causing Valak to appear. Similar to Father Noiré, Valak lifts Irene in the air, and sets her ablaze. Irene surprisingly does not burn, and subsequently realizes she is a descendant of Saint Lucy, able to harness the same power associated with the relic. Irene and Deborah pray with faith, the words of institution used in Christian celebrations of the Eucharist, and the old barrels of wine in the room become the blood of Christ, banishing the demon back to hell. With Valak gone, Irene and Deborah manage to free Maurice of possession, and save his life. The next morning, Irene leads Maurice outside, and helps him to regain his senses. However, she becomes concerned as she watches him going with Sophie and Kate inside, 